guys, I'm Rita and in this episode I will show you how you can create sales invoice or customer invoice on Clearbooks. To create sales invoice, we need to go to sales section and click on invoices. From here, click on the blue button called create invoice. And now we are presented with blank template, invoice template, which we need to fill in. Even we can add a new customer here by clicking on add. And in that case, you will need to fill in details for uh, this particular new customer, or we can select one from our drop-down list, like I do. Select an invoice date and add also due date. So if you want to provide zero days payment terms, date should match with due date. If customer have asked you to quote a reference, add reference number here, and theme is your how your invoice will look like. So there's multiple templates available. Select one which you fancy. If you use stock management and you have items added on your stock list or item list, select one from drop down list below and details will be automatically filled in for this um, line. Otherwise, you can manually add details by clicking on add new line and fill in details here from, for example, I have product 45, select revenue stream or income stream, select quantity, add a price, and if you are what registered business, don't forget to select correct VAT rate. Once you have filled in details above, next section is where you can add notes. So in summary section, you can add notes if you want to, otherwise you can leave blank. Also select your bank details, which will need to be displayed on an invoice, or you can set up an instant bank payments, which are called most commonly known as e-payments like PayPal, Stripe, GoCardless, and etc. Also, we can edit invoice payment text here and manage any attachments. Before we issue this invoice, we can also preview it. When you click on preview, this is how invoice will look like in PDF format. So if you want to change something about this invoice still, you can go back and amend information. Also, we can save as a draft and always come back and continue what we have started to enter on this template. But if you are happy with all information above, click save. This would create an invoice. So now uh, this is an unpaid invoice. We can still edit, we can email it out, we can copy, we can add attachments allocate payments, we can get also delivery note, view as PDF or mark as void. So there is the details about my invoice. And if I go to invoices list under unpaid section, I can see my invoice 130 issued to in, uh, events for 40 pounds. Under manage, I have more options to follow and to do, including if I want to get online link, or I can record a payment, or if I want to just send out automatically, uh, then click on this little envelope and you have options to mark this invoice uh, in the way in which it has been sent. Either you can send from a system, you will need to provide an email. So if you want to send from Clearbooks, provide an email here and click on send email. If you have printed out and sent by post, mark it as a send by post, or if you printed out and actually hand delivered to this customer, you can mark this invoice as hand delivered, like in my case. If I go back to invoices and click on the unpaid section, now this black envelope has turned into blue little paper folded plane. In this episode, I showed you how you can create sales invoices on Clearbooks accounting software. If you have any questions or require any further advice, feel free to reach out to me. Also, I have shared the links in the description section below to my Clearbooks tutorial and review episodes. If you have not seen it yet, check it out.